JL 50 games for the club for you. Well, <laughs> I actually didn't know that, so <laughs> I really didn't. I hope I got that right then. It, uh, it could be close, I'm not sure. Yeah, hopefully, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's stuck up then, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. I, um, I suppose I was sort of more thinking, I think 150 is about five or six weeks ago, away, I think. I didn't really think about 50 games, so um, yeah, they go quick when you're playing senior footy regularly and um, play finals too, so uh, yeah, it's exciting. Well, you, 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 Marcus Adams has said the silent assassin, <laughs> he gets it done on the field and off the well, but on the field, yeah, you have been, you have been impressive. Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like probably over the last few years I've, I've just tried to play consistent footy. Um, early days of my career I was up and down, in and out of the side and um, yeah, it was, it was frustrating and uh, I think just as you get on uh, maturity as a player and things like that, I just tried to minimum, minimise the uh, ups and downs in terms of my form and um, that certainly helps the team as well. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been nice playing consistent footy, but obviously only round six, so a long way to go. Do you have to go up another level now that Lockheed's Yes, decided, yes. Yeah. Don't worry, Charlie's reminded me of that a few times. Um, yeah, I mean, that, I think I've heard it during the week. It's not the Lockheed Neal Football Club. He's been amazing for us, but there's some young guys uh, ready to step in. And um, I guess over the pre-season, we actually put a lot of guys through the midfield. Um, and yeah, not foreseeing what's going to happen, but it certainly makes a difference now that we've given them all a bit of experience through running through that centre bounce and through the midfield. So there'll be guys that come in and, and fill the role. I think since you and, you and him came to the club at the same time, you've played every game together till now. Yeah, so will that yeah. be, how will that feel, do you think, going out tomorrow night and not having him alongside you in the middle? Of yeah, you're right. If it, yeah, well, it's been 49 straight. If that's if Ben's got his facts right, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. Probably going to be different out there, having a, a one less leader in that in that midfield. Um, yeah, it's been it's been great to bounce ideas off um, together, rolling through there. So yeah, it just means uh, blokes like Zorks and, and Zach Bailey and, and those sort of guys are, are going to come through there a bit more regularly and, and step up and, and fill the role. It will be, yeah. It's like a little breakup, I guess. Um, yeah, we're going to miss him out there, but I'm sure he'll be watching the game. And when he can, he'll when he gets out of his plaster, he'll, he'll come in and do some coaching, which will be good for us. JL, um, humic luggage has been enormous for you guys. I mean, I know everyone sort of focuses on, on Rocky, but he has he's probably been one of your best running around the last couple of weeks, hasn't he? Yeah, certainly. Um, he's uh, it's no surprise. I mean, the last couple of years he's been building to that. Um, I think his consistency for a young player has been amazing um, for his fourth, fifth year, whatever he is now. So he's just locked down that wing spot and can come into the midfield as well. Um, just a, a regular pick and, and does the team things well. And I think his running power is something that probably is underestimated. He, I think he clocked up 16 Ks on the weekend. So um, yeah, he's just a powerful worker, gets to every contest and, and he's clean with the footy. So um, yeah, he's taken a massive step up this year and, and he's been really consistent. What do you like about Beast Mark? Um, honestly, for a bloke that's been probably one of the most unlucky footballers going around at the moment, um, his team, team first mentality over the last six weeks has been amazing. Like, just always up and about. I think he's been emergency every week. Um, so he's always with our group uh, with these training sessions and uh, he's just happy, he's up and about. He's, he's the barometer for us, him and Charlie together. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, I guess for him, the, the reward's gonna come um, when it does. And yeah, he's just, it's great to see really. He's, he's worked so hard to get there and, and probably, I guess reminds me of myself a bit when I was early days where I just couldn't crack it. So I've sort of been empathising with him and, and just keeping him up and about and he's certainly done that himself. Uh, oh, just energy. His energy's been awesome. Uh, I think last week he played a half a footy and had 18 and kicked four. So he's certainly in form, which is great. He comes in and uh, he, he plays a role for us. We don't expect anything over and above. They don't have to take over what Lockie's done, but uh, he'll, um, yeah, he'll come in and, and just play his role and, and hopefully have a good game because he deserves it. He seems like a guy that everyone wants to see do well. Yeah, that's spot on actually, Fish. Um, everyone does want to see him do well. He deserves to do well. Uh, yeah, I think he's been around the footy club for what, six or seven years now and um, hasn't quite made it as a consistent player, but certainly as a teammate, he's, he's done all the right things.
Jared, three and three, do you think that that's about right for the team start to the season, do you think? Yeah, I mean, we, we, yeah, we didn't show up early days, especially against Sydney. Um, we got what we deserved there, and we and we and we looked at that. And we've, we're still using that game as as learnings going forward. Um, obviously, the Geelong game could have fallen either way. Um, that, yeah, I mean, that's a, if you look at recent results, it, uh, teams playing Geelong and Geelong, it's actually probably a pretty good form reference for how we're going. Um, and then obviously the Bulldogs as well are a fantastic side. So we've sort of been up there, um, thereabouts. But yeah, three and three is, is fair and we've got a lot of work to do now, but it's good to square the ledger again. A couple of the new faces out there. <laughs> yes, Ben. <laughs> I'm going to leave that open to you. Uh, yeah, well, um, I think conditions pending. Um, obviously, there's going to be a fair bit of rain around. so. I think they're still deciding on what to do um, in regards to that, but um, we'll find out tonight, I guess, when the teams are out. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, well, if you go for like for like, I mean, obviously, Diz and Lockyer are out, and um, we'll see what happens. What, what do you do up back? There's no darts either. Yeah, Diz has been, obviously, missed a bit of footy, but he's such an impo important player for us. Um, sort of very underrated, I would have thought. Uh, doesn't get the limelight he probably deserves. So that's going to be big shoes to fill. Um, there's, there's probably four or five guys that can come in, um, conditions pending, whether we go with a tall or a small. So, um, yeah, well, I think we'll wait and see and, and see what the forecast has. No boat today? Yeah, I found that out yesterday. Um, are we prepared for boat playing? And I think their system's good enough to just bring someone in and, and play play what, how they've been doing. I don't think they're relying on any one player. They've got such a such a powerful midfield with a lot of guys going through there that are in form. So yeah, it's on us to whoever comes in to shut them down too.